What's good, YouTube? Back with another banger video. In today's video, we'll be reacting to story time from Kaytana, or I'm Kitana, my friend F, my ex. She got pregnant video, man. It's gonna be a lit banger, you feel me? I know I haven't been posting. I'm sorry. I've been grinding on that Twitch lately, so go follow my Twitch down below. Go follow my Twitter. Go follow my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like this video. Share it. Please subscribe. I'm gonna link her video down below in the description down below or in the comment section. Y'all should go subscribe to her. She really a good dope as YouTuber. I was checking out her content. You feel me? But let's let's get to his story time. You know what I'm saying? Let's go be late, late. Let's get it, man. Come with that sauce, man. July sixth grade. Um, I moved my eighth grade year. He moved his eighth grade year. Um, we both came back and like somehow we ended up mm. in the same school our ninth grade year. And if you don't know, I went to Northwest. So. Me and Hoodie, we always been, we all we all always had like a brother sister type of friendship, relationship, not relationship, but friendship. Like that was like my brother, you know what I mean? So when we came back to the same school, we both realized it. And not even that, we also had a class together and we clicked like that. Like we seen each other, we sat beside each other, and we clicked like that, like off the bat. So, okay, cool. Mm. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. So. Me and Hoodie, we just catching up with everything, you know. It's nothing really much. We just talking. Like, we just we walking in the hallways. Mind you, we wasn't together at the time. But we in the hallways, you know. He walking me to classes. I'm walking him to classes. After school, he would usually take me to my bus. And he would stay after school because he did sports. So, All right. with that being said, later on in the school year, it was within the same month, but later on that month, um, he asked me out. And I remember he 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 walked me to my bus and he had asked me out and I said I'll think about it. And the funny thing is that when he asked me out, it was actually messing with somebody else that went to the same school. We all. What, bro? And that nigga did not know that, bro. I mean. Like, if you're gonna ask somebody out, you gotta know if they, like, with somebody, they fucking with somebody. Like, you, I always make sure if, like, if you fucking with, I always do a background check just in case you lie or something. You gotta do a background check. Like, like, I, 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 I personally don't, I, I ain't none of my business, but I would do a personal background check. Oh, he probably actually knew, he just did not give a fuck. I mean, shit. Some niggas just don't care when they know. Also, we're the same bus, so when the boy asked me out, like, he was really, he was literally looking out the window. And he's Yo <laughs> he looking at the window the whole time. That nigga heard everything, bro. He suspected it and he stopped fucking with me. What's wrong? I mean, I would too like if a girl said they think about it and I heard that and I'll be like, So you trying like to go with them or something? Like But then I ain't gonna lie, some girls say that, but then they give you answer no anyways. But like it's still kind of it's like it's like it's disrespectful, but it is not, cause like it's disrespectful because, like, why would you tell him like you think about that? I mean, the answer's gonna automatically know because you're fucking with somebody else. You already got a dude, or you got a girl already, but like the other partner be thinking that they gonna cheat, like, but they wouldn't like like I'm I'm just gonna say this though they wouldn't say this if they knew you was hearing, like they you, you know you could hear that like. I mean, I feel like she probably knew that she was he was hearing that. I don't know, cause of how the buses is, I'm thinking how the buses is. Yeah, like the window open, you can hear it. Yeah, like I I don't know, but honestly, it's disrespectful. Not disrespectful at the same time, like you know. But put it down in the comment section if y'all feel it's disrespectful, not disrespectful. To me, it's like it's disrespectful. It's like both ways, like to me. Like, I don't really care because he back in my phone now, but that's not the point. Dang, so he left because he heard that, and then that nigga came back. That nigga was one simp. But, <clears throat> but basically, that happened. No I'm hard feelings, bro, it. if I you ever see this. I me on Monday, and I said, I'll give you an answer on Wednesday, because I don't want to think about it, because it's kind of like, if, you, if you're in, like, a brotherly, sisterly relationship with somebody, you don't know if you want to take that step, because you can easily hop in a relationship with somebody. Nah, I don't, nah, nah. Cause when a girl says you just like a bird to me, they don't see you as like, oh, you're someone to date. They just see you as like someone to like, to, you know what I'm saying, be cool with, you know, brother, you know, brother type of sister vibe. I don't never type of her if you want to take it that far. Nah, most females just don't think about it or just don't. Nah, they just see you as a brother. They don't see you as like, 
as a man, they see you as a little dude or some shit, like some shit like that. And something happens, and y'all just the whole thing just breaks, it just goes downhill. You don't, you don't even talk to the person no more. So that's why I wanted to think about it. Like, and at the moment, like my middle school year, my middle school year, I'm not gonna lie, he always been like an attractive. He he was like an attractive male. He was like an attractive. He was like one of them. Nigga, just say he was cute. You had to say he was attractive, bro. What the hell? But I, I see she got a dude now, so like she can't really say he's cute because then her, you know, like, you know. I see where she's going at, but. Pretty light skin boy. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm sure. Oh my god, I almost choked on this water just for hearing a light skin. See. You got them light skins that want to be pretty as a girl. Let me just tell you, bro, you're sus as hell for that. Just sus. <laughs> just sus, bro. I ain't going to lie. What y'all do, but he want them light skins. Um, pause real quick. I don't know if I already said it, but he's not attractive to me no more. Like, he was a light skin boy. I don't even like light skins more. Yeah, I, I, I did not. I don't think the video need to know, know this, you feel me? Because... We do not care. We 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 don't care. We we don't we don't care if you. Don't. I mean, it's your taste. Like you don't have to tell us the taste, cause like I'm not finna go shoot your, shoot my shot in your DM. You feel me? I don't think anybody else gonna shoot your shot in your DM after her. And you got somebody already, so it's like, you know, like we we don't care. But you know, like me. No more. I don't I'm, even I'm, care. I, light I, skin. I ain't, I ain't gonna light lie. If you're light skin, stay away from me. You scare me. I don't wanna be with you. Dang, that was rude as hell to the light skin community. Golly. But um dang, she 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 shut y'all light skins down. Damn. That's tough. But I mean we 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 didn't ask though. I ain't gonna lie. Cause they're not shit. But Alright, we don't have to do this, bro. We don't have to do this. I I don't have to do this. <clears throat> It's like saying niggas ain't shit. You just saying light skinned niggas ain't shit. It's the dude you pick that ain't shit. Okay? And I don't think all light skins is the same as that dude. So you can't really say that. You could just say you just not attracted to light skin somewhere. You have to say light skinned niggas ain't shit. Now you're gonna have light skinned niggas be like, what you what are you talking about? And like like bro, like nah, nah, nah. Just say uh, like it's like saying all females or all light skins females is the same, or it ain't shit. Like you, like you, 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 you gotta like you gotta do better because I, I already know a, like when they see this video, bro, they coming for you on Instagram like literally like like dead ass like, like like cause like people get offended. Back to the video, he was like a typical light skin boy. He was cute. He was attractive. So. Um, one day, Wednesday come, and I'm like, okay, I went for it. So, we dated, and mind you, we already had, like, history. Like, we knew each other before that. Yeah, so it yeah. weird for us dating. Not, I'm not going to say it wasn't weird, but it's kind of like, we connected, like, you know, like that. So, that happened. And then, so, this was also the beginning of the school year, too. Um, this was all in August. In August, I think we had volleyball tryouts on August 10th. Oh, she did I'm volleyball. Not sure, but it was it was all around the same time when he asked me to have volleyball tryouts. Okay, so volleyball tryouts. So I meet this girl named Bear, and I think this was my first time seeing her. She actually moved here. It was her first year when I was there. She was a sophomore. I was a freshman. So, and oh, uh, so she it was older us, than you. And it was like more like volleyball girls or whatever. So we meet each other, and like we all just chatting up. We all cool, and in my eyes, we was friends in a way. You know what I mean? Like we, if and if it wasn't friends, we was cool. Like. We, mm -hmm. we should have been able, well, she should have been able to respect my relationship with another person. Because mm -hmm. that's how it was. Like, it's kind of like we knew not to cross that boundaries with each other. We was friends. We just cool. You know what I'm saying? Be Let me tell you this. Females is the most sneakiest in this planet, okay? you see, Everybody say males be the ones mostly cheating. But really be the, all, the females that be, like, sneaky, like, like, when I was in a relationship, I'm not even going to cop, bro. I just try to be friends. Like, I ain't going to lie. Just friends. Like, don't cross that boundary. They will actually cross that boundary. Like, dude. Like, I always told my, uh, when I was in a relationship, I always told my girl. But, like, 
they some of them had to like literally get a DM from my girl because they crossed the boundary. Like, wh- what is you doing? Like, what is you doing? Like, they really would cross the boundary, and that just be weird as hell. Like, no cap. But she says we wasn't friends, but it, uh, it, I see. I was shown. I see otherwise, actually. But but if y'all was cool and she knew you had a dude, and that was your dude. Why we like like they just doing sneaky shit like bro no that happened or whatever I met her she was cool for a minute and and then so it was August and then September came so August September so me and hoodie we we was together for about two months two Two months months like once maybe twice I think but. September comes, so mind you, he asked me out the like the middle end of August, I think, like in like the twentieth, I think. And mind you, next month is September, so basically September comes, and me and him we're dating. We're, doing, we're actually we're doing really good. Like it's no problems with no other females, but that's the situ- this but bear, and that's the female code name is bear. For I feel like he she calling her bear because she she probably hairy. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't give no nickname Bear unless she hairy and big. So, I'm going to expect that. And, so, the month of September comes, and we're, like, going through it a little bit. And then, like, we ain't even break up for five minutes. Not even that. Like, it's kind of like, have you guys ever been in that relationship where y'all break up, but y'all know y'all going to get back together, so you don't even... Yes, sir. Been there, done that. That's it. Like we was like that. Like, and on top of that, we actually me. Maybe a story time for y'all. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. Me and hoodie, we wasn't we wasn't a toxic couple. Like we had our problems, but like he was a toxic person. You want to sit down and actually talk about it, and that's probably one thing I one good thing I can I, I can say about him was he wasn't he wasn't a toxic person. He liked to sit down and talk about it. What we both can do for a day for it not to happen again. So, I mean, that's what all females should type of get is a dude that want to sit down and talk. Like, texting is cool for talking, but sitting in person and talking because you actually, because on phone, you can really get interruptions and you have to really spell every word right, bro. You could just say the word, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like all females should really get that type of dude where they just actually want to sit down and talk, like, in person and stuff, you know, about the situations. But females want that, but then they don't want to talk about the situation at the same time. Like, they just want to, like, not talk about it, just shove it off. Like, what? And then just make the situation more worse because it just keeps becoming a problem. Like, they don't, you know, talk about it. Like He know, actually nah. broke up with me the first time. And I didn't do nothing. Uh, what Something had happened. I had caught, he had got caught up with doing something. And I had gone on to him about it, and he so he broke up with me. You know, y- y'all y'all females know what I'm talking about, right? Like I don't know what you're talking about because I never done that before. I don't cheat. I'm loyal, but I felt like he got caught cheating. Like he got caught in a girl DM. That's what she's trying to say, or talking to another girl, and she confronted him, and so he broke up with her. Yeah, I think I'm trying to I'm trying to get it, you feel me? Like I'm I'm start I'm starting to learn y'all females mentally, you feel me? Like I'm I'm starting to learn y'all. They try to flip on you and then they break up with you before you can even break up with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I I yeah, I'm 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 mentally up there. Yeah. And I'm like, nigga, is you fucking serious? And I'm saying I'm like, no, you're not going nowhere. You need to fix it. He was like, nah. And I'm like, okay, shit, fuck it. So we break up with every and mind you, we wasn't even dating for like two months. Like, it wasn't really that long, but like we was then it seemed like a very long time, but like when you think, like when you think. Oh yeah, time do be going fast. Sometimes it be going slow. No cap, especially at school. That shit went long as hell. I was, especially no, I on Monday. Thinking, like, we wasn't that we wasn't dating that long. It was like two months. So, um, he broke up with me or whatever, and it was like he broke up with me for like what a day. We started dating the next day. So mind you, that day. Remember the day that we broke up? What, that one day? Not even that whole entire day. So, a couple weeks later, 
me and hoodie we got back together whatever we doing good you know nothing too much we just chilling we doing good you know i see him he come i usually i usually go over to his house i usually come over to my house i actually stayed the night over there before but That's one thing I never done. I never done sleep, or I never had a girl sleep over my house before. How do y'all niggas be doing this? Like, like, not, like y'all parents just don't care. Like, I'm starting to think y'all parents just don't care. <laughs> oh my god. That happened or whatever, and then a couple weeks later, I can't remember how I found out, but I found out that he did something with the girl. Which whole nickname is Bear? Oh, you know what I'm saying. So he broke with her, and he got a Bear. And he start. You already know what I'm trying to do, but you, you already know. You already know what they did. She went. I don't know. I'm. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know why I did that, but I'm just saying. I say, is you serious right now? Not even that. They told me that they fucked good this, that, and the third. Dang, they told you your whole details? Damn. If that was me, I, I, if I ever did cheat and I got back with somebody or I went with somebody or, yeah, something like that, I am not going to tell you the details of what the hell I did. Like, what, bro? Like, that's kind of disrespectful, bro. Like, he, he really wanted to break a female heart, bro. Like, no cap. Like, that's disrespectful as hell. And I'm not going to get into, in, like, too much details about that situation has that has nothing to do with me no more. That's not I'm not gonna bring that in my mix because I don't care. But they did their little thing or whatever. I found out I'm like, what the fuck? So I broke up with him. So the month that he did it with he did it the month of September. When we broke up, we broke up in the month month of September. They did it. Mind you, her birthday is also in that month. So they did it again on her birthday. Oh no, birthday! Oh, oh my God, bro, that's that's tough. That is tough. That is tough. Oh my, oh shit, but that's tough, man. I ain't gonna lie with y'all. That that's tough. That is tough. Um, but bruh, bruh, I think everybody want to experience that. Like, even I do, but um, wow, they died did it once. They did it twice. They not do it uno, dos. <laughs> oh lord, bro, that, that's tough, man. I ain't gonna lie, like that is tough. Well, at least you didn't get no video sent to you that they did it, bro. <laughs> oh no, nah, that'd be heartbreaking for you. I'm not even gonna. But count. I didn't know about that. I just knew about the time when they did it when. They didn't tell you on the birthday. For like within that one day span, like one day. So, I so uh, mind you, when I get back to Gateway, I don't know nothing. So, like I said, somebody, I think it was one of her friends, tell me that, and then that happens. So, I'm like, okay, I need to calm down. What am I gonna do? And I'm, I was that type of female at the time. The only, I feel like the only mistake that I made was that I like you don't need to check your nigga about a bitch like these. Bitches Nah, it wasn't that. I feel like you didn't, if you don't, you don't need like here's the thing, you don't need to check your uh, significant other to see if they mess with anybody. Like, like I I give like my uh, if I ever have a girl, I always give them free. Y'all can do whatever y'all want, but if y'all cheat, peace out, no cop. Like, like that ass. I give y'all freedom. Like, I'm literally a carefree type of person, but I care at the same time. Like, it really just tries to see. It makes me see how that much I care about the relationship for one, and then two, like you don't need to check nobody over this. Like you don't gotta check them because they do it. They ain't shit. Cause I give them enough trust to know that they that they ain't supposed to be doing all that. I trust them that they ain't doing. That. I know they not doing that. Like I trust that. Like, There's something wrong with that. Loyal to your niggity. So first thing you need to do is you need to check your nigga because first of all, if a bitch is fucking on your nigga. It's because he's allowing it to happen. He's obviously putting himself. In That's what I'm saying. And he and it not just happened to like to girls. It happened to dudes too. Like your girl could be fucking on somebody else. Like dead ass. Like like 
it's vice versa. Like, put your girl on check, you feel me? I honestly, hey, do what you do. If you're going to cheat, I'm out, though. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie. Peace. Like, I'm out. Like, you know you ain't going to bro. Get out of my face. No cap. They know how girls be like, period. You got a little weird. Um, uh, that. So, That's weird. I'm checking that, that out. And then I found out about it. I broke up with him. And me and the girl, we had, we had our problems. Uh, we, we never fought, though. We never really, we never got to that point. But we had a situation. This, that, and the third that happened. My dumb ass, I go back with him. That same. See, this, 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 down. At least she caught, at least she, she saw herself dumb. You're not dumb. Because everybody go back to they cheating or try to go back with they cheating ex or whatever. Like, because maybe they change or some shit. I don't know, really. I don't know. Everybody at least went back. I mean, everybody did. Everybody once did, okay? It's, it's okay. Everybody Actually, did. I got with him that same month. I'm not sure. But it's, that happened, whatever. And then I found out that they did it. They did it a real few itch. times. Bro, and I just kept finding out back to back. And then one day, uh, so Hoodie, he couldn't have a, like, he couldn't have a phone. Because, like, he had a phone sometimes, but then he actually, he be getting in trouble with the law, like, a lot. So, his phone's always, so his phone always end up getting took. So, so this nigga was an athlete, but you also doing shit. Bro, what is you doing, dude? You an athlete, bro. You supposed to be a role model. You're basically, like, a role model to kids, you feel me? Like, not only not just doing YouTube or Twitch, like, you think that's just role model. No, 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 no. Athletes, some, all, everything, can, anything could be, anything you do can be a role model. Dude, you're a role model. You're supposed to be good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you playing basketball, doing all this. You basically hindering your... Like, you could probably be an NBA. I don't know if he's good. I don't know who he is. But, hey, if you're watching the video, you you could be good, but you're doing dumb shit. Like, stop doing dumb shit. Like, come on. So, y'all using his computer to communicate. So, we was texting off... Computer? Hell, nah. I ain't gonna lie. If I was you, I would dead ass not be with that dude. Like, I ain't gonna lie. School computer. And he was like, we need to talk about this situation. Sat down, like, okay, whatever, cool. So I meet him. We're talking about it. Nothing special. Like, him being a nigga, lying, this, that, and the third. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, when, like, your significant others do something. And it's kind of like, when they do something, you can't unsee it. Like, and it's kind of like, even if you do forgive them, and, like, it can make y'all stronger. It's kind of like, some nights you just think about the situation. It just gets to you. You start getting upset, this, that, and the third. So, yeah. That, that happened, and, like, so, I actually, I ended up breaking up with him, and, y'all, the crazy thing is, this girl, the girl there, she thought she was pregnant, like, it was, it was a big thing, like, she thought she was pregnant, like, she thought? it was all in the, uh, the nah, rest. there's a difference between being pregnant, and then thinking you're pregnant. If you think you're pregnant, take a stinking ass test. Don't even say that you're pregnant just because, oh, I'm feeling sick, sick, I'm feeling down. Okay, that don't mean anything because that means you could just be regular virus sick. Like, like what is you doing? Just motherfucking um, take a test. A strong, like, it was like me, her, and like, like three, four other girls. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, I ain't gonna say all, it on here. Cause the thing, the, I bought her the pregnancy, I bought her the pregnancy test, bro. With my own money that came out of my pocket, I bought her that shit. Oh, you a real, you a real one right there. You a real one. <laughs> hey, I, I feel like if she was, though, I feel like she would actually whoop that girl ass, like, dead ass. Like, I, I don't know why. I just, I, just, I don't know why. pregnant with my nigga. Like, what? But... I ended up buying the fire. She ended up taking it. It was like a lot. I actually, at the moment, I thought it was real funny. I was, I was even recording it, and I don't have the recording on my phone no more. But she recorded that. that happened, and then turned out she was lie. pregnant or nothing. Um, like that was just like, it was a lot. Uh, like yo, I really did. I ain't gonna lie. I really do think if she, if it did come up positive. She would have whooped her ass, bro. I'm not even capping. And like, after that, like, that's when I, like, cut him off completely. Like, I broke up with him completely because you're not going to sit there and put me through that. And True. 
I'm not gonna hold you. That's a lot of drama. Like, I don't mind telling this to y'all, cause kind of like y'all already know. If you know the situation, who it is, then you already know the whole story. But like, if you're new to this, you don't know nothing. This is yeah. But like one night, I was in my closet. Y'all look at this. Like when I tell y'all, I was in that closet on the ground. And you was in the closet crying? I was in my closet crying on the phone with his sister. With with Hoodie's sister, my ex-boyfriend's sister. Damn. Because I was upset and I was mad and I was hurt. And I didn't know how to express myself. Like, I don't know. Like, back then, that's when I could, like, really, like, cry on the phone with somebody. Like, now, I don't do that no more. That's weird to me, honestly, like. I'm not saying if you do it, you're weird or, like, that's awkward because, like, everybody expresses their feelings in their own way. But mm-hmm. it's kind of like, to me, I can't do that no more. Like, me express my feelings. Like, if you want to get something out of me, you really got to you really gotta drag that shit out of me. Like, I'm not going to just sit here and freely be like, I want to do this, this, that. You have to get, you have to get it out of me or I'm not going to tell you at all. That unless it builds up and I just have to, like, let it all out. But... I'm only like that with, like, two people. Like, I can't do that to everybody. Mm, okay. So, that happened. And then, like, I don't know. That happened. Actually, he actually got sent to military school because he had gotten in trouble. That's something to do with the law. And, oh, like, this dude is an athlete getting in trouble again, bro. I just want to knock this nigga out, bro, being so stupid, bro. Man, first off, you're going to cheat on a good girl. Then, put her through drama. And then you're going to get in trouble with lying. You, you do sports, my nigga, bro. You do sports, bro. You're supposed to be a little role model for little kids, bro. You're supposed to go to the NBA, bro. You're supposed to got the hood, bro. you supposed That's the plan, bro. Man, I got a... Bro, mm-mm. After, the, like, after everything, I think it was that summer. No, it was not that summer. It was not that summer because I was with... What's his name? It was before that. But... Basically, like he was in, he would be in summer, not summer school. He'd be in military school because he would get sent away a lot, and like he needed that. He he would be on the phone and stuff like and that. They should have kept that dude phone. in they military school. Oh, I'm talking about like keep that nigga in school in that school for like three to five years. That's what he need. Phones for like a certain amount of time, and like he would be on the phone and stuff, and like. He have a certain times where he can be on the phone. He had to get off to do that a certain amount of time. He would call me the next day. Like, that was after everything because he wanted, like, I could see, like, I seen the potential in him. I, I knew he could be better. I knew he wasn't going to make the same mistake. But I just couldn't do it. Like, I just really couldn't. I don't know. Because it fucked up. I don't know if he thought I was They dumb. fucked twice. She didn't tell her that they fucked on her birthday. But, like, I couldn't do it, honestly. And, like, and till this day, I'm not going to say till this day because, like, I'm over the situation now. I just thought it would be good if I, like, brought it up here because I know I know it would get a lot of attention. And I just know it would be. Get that bag. I already know how people is. They messy. They want to know my business. So, yeah. But, like, <clears throat> to this day, it's kind of like, I don't really know how to feel. Like, how I feel now, I'm over the situation, but it's kind of like. If you sit there and try to talk to me about it, I'm like, I don't know. Oh, so video over. All right, basically. That sums it up. Nah, the, the dude named Hoodie, bro, you, you need to get your ass smacked in the head, bro. No cap. Like, you get in trouble. Like, like, you bro, like, bro, you had a good girl for one. You messed that up. You fucked Bear. Which probably wasn't shit. And then you gonna get in trouble with the law even though you do athlete. And sent to military school. You're an L, bro. You're is a L, bro. I don't know who you is, but you an L, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You an L, bro. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but you an L, bro. That's tough. That's tough. No cap. But I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Go subscribe to her channel down below. I'm going to put it in the pinned comment down there. Uh, And how y'all feel about her story time? You feel me? I feel like, damn, bro. He really did her wrong. Like, you would like who who does that, bro? Like, no cap. But, you know, please make sure you like this video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.
20.